Good afternoon, Nigerians. It's a pleasure to see you again. Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you have made your resolutions for 2024. And this time around, resolution that you follow up, not the one that you throw away. You remember that our last ed edition was uh, resolutions for development. And we spoke to the police, we spoke to the National Assembly, and we also challenged the president to restructure Nigeria so that Nigeria can, you know, can fly like the country that great country that God ordained it to be. So today we will be focusing on how do we how do we restore the glory of the Nigerian passport. This very beautiful document. I love this document so much. And this Nigerian passport has taken me to several countries, counting now well over 20. You know, and, and, and I, I'm always very proud to present myself as a Nigerian anywhere I go. How do we restore the glory? Because some Nigerians feel that government has been doing things that does not allow the glory of this passport to be recognized and respected all across the world. Is that true? So that's what we are going to be focusing on today. And I have a very important guest with me, Mr. Zuberu Atta. Mr. Zuberu, welcome to Development Pillars. Thank you very much and God bless Nigeria. Okay. So during the week, uh, there was a, a, tre a trending video of a Nigerian who wanted uh, to go to China. He was going in a team, a team of three. Uh, one is an American, and she has a daughter is also an American, and the other one is an American, is also a Sierra Leonean, and they were given 10 years visa without any hazard. But he said when he came to his turn that he was not, it was not easy that they queried him, they asked him to go and look for police reports, and so on and so forth. And he, he alluded, I mean, he claimed, he claimed that it was government that damaged, you know, the, the, the respect for the Nigerian passport. So, is it true? That's what we're going to be looking at today. And Mr. Zuberu Atta, uh, who is a Nigerian with a difference, he believes that we should do things right and do things right. He's an ab advocate of doing things right. And uh, I've met him on many fora, and I know that he's somebody who is very passionate about this country. Mr. Zuberu, did you watch the trending video? Oh, yes, what, is I did. Your, what is your opinion? I did, and um, uh, very interesting. Mm. And I was quite happy with the way it ended. Mm. Uh, it's set about a lot of people thinking and asking questions about their roles in upholding the integrity and uh, respect that this uh, document, the international passport, has for each person, individuals, or the country. Mm. Absolutely. Um, I feel a lot of Nigerians do not understand what it takes to, to uphold the glory of the passport. For example, they feel that government alone government alone can or should promote the glory of the passport by the way they govern and if that is true then singapore should not be number one in mm. the world yes, yes i know that Sing singapore has good governance system you know but people feel that when a country is rich when a country has a good democracy in quote and so on and so forth, then the passport will be respected all across the world. Yes. Is that true? Yes and no. That document or this document is the collective ownership of Nigeria. The to citizens go, to go, go, I mean, is for everybody. It belongs to all of us. Yes. The government is only the issuer and the custodian on behalf of the people. Likewise, the constitution belongs to everybody. But those in positions of responsibility and the institutions that have been enshrined Mandated, in the constitution yes, yes. are custodians of it on behalf of the people. Of the people. Even in traditional African systems, regardless of whether we were demarcated by countries or not, mm. there were rules that were upheld, which was called customs. And traditions. And traditions. Mm. Mark you, it starts with a repeated an intention by me. A repeated action then it becomes a habit for me you do the same thing and if we are in community together yes when you join the two habits it becomes the tradition of Zubero and Tunde to do this thing on this issue in a certain way and then when other people join it becomes our tradition joint joint tradition, tradition. and then with the elapsing of time reenacting over time it now becomes the custom it is customary for Zubero and Tunde and Inamdi or Ma uh, Mama 
to do these things regarding this issue based on the rules we regulate in this way. In this way. And then when the people see us outside, yes, maybe from a neighboring kingdom, they say, ah, now then culture. So it becomes your face, and that's what the international passport represents. represents. So if you look at a quasi, this governance is a government or the leader of rulership and the followership. So it's a civic responsibility and it is a constitutional responsibility. What, what you said just reminded me of what happened some years back when I went to the United States. Mm. You know what I found out? No. I found out that in the United States and the UK, uh, most Africans have discovered that Nigerians are the ones that have the bad image. The way they behave, the way they steal, the way they are, they commit crime in other people's country. So whenever another African committed any crime and they arrest him, they say, where are you from? You say, I'm from Nigeria. Ah, you're profiled. Yes, yeah, so you mean because they know that the uh, law enforcement agents of these various countries, they know that Nigerians are the most in yes, prison, in their yes. prison. So there's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. So it means that what we do, what we do can destroy the image of this passport. Absolutely. The glory of this passport and it can boost it. Absolutely. So thank you so very much, sir. It's a pleasure talking to you. Growing up in just the, the in the sixties and early seventies, I could go to anybody's house and sleep and eat. Of course, there were rules, hmm. but my parents would not bat an eyelid. You yourself, can you go to your neighbor's house and sleep now? No. Your direct neighbor. Things have changed. Things have changed. Yes. So it's the same way our perception about this country, about this passport, has to change. If we as individuals don't strengthen the passport then nobody will do it for us. I've traveled to so many countries like you have. Never once have I been asked to move aside. Never once, because I carry my... Ah, there's another clip, maybe one is on the internet. Okay. Uh, Julius Malimo said, Nigerians have what? Confidence. Confidence, yes, I saw you. I'm Nigerian. Yes. See, I kiss the passport. Yes. That means I love my country, despite the challenges I have. Of course, you, you, like, you go out and you come back. That's human. Mm. But then if I do not hold myself with dignity, that means I do not love myself. If I speak bad about my country, despite the hardships, I will be in trouble. But I can t bring my, peop my, my government, to, I can ask them questions. And let's even look at the civil service works by rules. by rules. If you want to challenge the civil service for doing something that is wrong, go and look for the civil service rules. The rules. What does it and say? They use the rules to make your case. And then if you're talking about the political leadership, you go and do it. Forget about whatever some other institution. The institution will come. I mean, it's always there. Soldier come, soldier, soldier go. go. If the rotten egg bad, at least they say the eggshell he has calcium. Yes. You know, don't ever throw away the baby with the with the bad bad, bad the baby with the bad water. That's my say. So if we begin to have a s consciousness, why is it that before you go to a bank, you need a BVN now to transact? Mm. Are all the banks good? No. Is the banking system the most perfect? No. No. So why do you believe and trust in the BVN and then you cannot trust in your passport? In your passport. Why is it that when you want to drive a vehicle, you need to go and get a license? Because there are statutory obligations. Forget the process of getting licenses mm. or not. Mm. The key issue is those institutions are there. You and I have to wake up consciously to begin to educate ourselves, inform ourselves. And I'm begging the media. I'm a mass communications person. I'm begging the media. Portray this country in, in good light. Good light. Media, we are trying to challenge to you. It's your duty as media men and media women to project this passport as our identity and to educate Nigerians on why Singapore or Singaporeans can travel to 192 countries without visa or with visa on arrival. And why a Nigerian can only travel to only 46 countries in the whole world without visa. And those 50, uh, 46 countries are largely ECOWAS countries. Yes. You know, plus, uh, you know, uh, maybe Mauritius. Yes. We used to go to Seychelles without visa. Yes. But Nigerians went to Seychelles, and you know what they did in, in, in Seychelles? They gave fake, fake money. Mm. All, the, all the dollars they spent in that, in the hotel was fake. Yes. Bad image. Ba bad image. So, Nigerians, as you continue to portray your country in bad image, the image rubs on this paper. As a Nigerian, when you go to Dubai to fight, 
the way I saw Nigerians fighting in Dubai. Yes. And uh, yes. Uh, the police, Dubai police, they were in their car. Two of them, they were sitting down, eating yes. and watching them. Yes. And these guys were... I they have seen it in Dubai. They, well. they yes. were breaking bottles. Personally, I've right seen it. Right in my... I was ashamed. Around the data area, yes. But if you say Nigeria is not good, you have opportunity to jack out what you want to do. And then you go there, you go to do cocaine. You go to do uh, heroin. You go to sell drugs. The, I was I was traveling from Ghana recently from yes, Ghana. Yes. I, for the first time I did, I said, let me even see the way the West African by road. Uh, road. So, so very interesting. I, yes. So yes. I went, you know, by by road. It was very interesting. When we were coming back, the things my ears heard. The boys in the vehicle were they were boasting of how they camp ladies in in their room and they had fun with them without their you know they were talking. They, literally, what they were saying was that they were committing crime. In Ghana, in the name of in the name of Nigeria, and then you want Ghana to rep, to, to, to 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 respect this Absolutely document. It not. doesn't work that way. Yes, sir. So, uh, Mr. Zubel, yes, please. We we wanted to let Nigerians know, based on what you have said, that we must work on ourselves if we will be able to re redeem the image of this. Yes, of the, of, of, of and bring the glory back. Yes, every Nigerian has something beautiful. Yes, that the world needs. Yes. That's why some of the best doctors are from here. in the world are from here. Yes. And like you said, that Malema speech, yes. Nigerians are very confident, very articulate, they're sure of who they are. Yes. So people want us all over the world because of what we can offer. Yes. And then because we feel that look our, our country does not give us enough opportunities, yes. so let's go. Absolutely. So as a Nigerian, you are serving yourself. Yes. You are serving yourself to the people. Yes. The sweetness of Nigeria. Yes. The beauty of Nigeria. Yes. The glory of Nigeria. Yes. Is this not beautiful? It's lovely. But you find other Nigerians it's in the same country with more than action. They are poison. Yes, sir. Their words are poison. Their thoughts are poison. Their actions are poison. They leave the country without any good purpose. They go to other countries in the other world, scavenging for opportunities, but negative opportunities. Yes. yes. Doing arm robbery, doing stealing, and, and humiliating people in their own country. Yes. I want you to go scot free. So they are like poison. Yes. And then you can see you don't need too much poison to destroy what is good. Just a little. So just a little of this poison, you pour it, and you just. Tanks the whole thing. Will you drink it? No way. So Nigerians, every time you go abroad and you do what is bad and you mess up, you are not messing up as your name, as Chijoki, as Olaire Waju, as Zuberu, or as Alima. Yes. You are messing this national identity. Yes. You are messing it up. Yes. You are disgracing Nigeria. Nigerians now and generations yet to be born and for your misbehavior it may take months and years of hard work for others to be able to to correct the damage that you have done absolutely so the problem is never in our passport the problem is in our behavior now if it is good governance alone that makes passport to be the best in the world America will be number one. America is number one country in the world. Yes. But now Americans can go to only uh, how many countries? One eighty four. I, I don't. I don't know. That Out of two twenty seven, America can only go to one one eighty eighty four. That's a starting right. The starting yes, right. visa free or visa on arrival. Mm -hmm. So they have to queue to get visa to other countries. Interesting. And Nigeria also have to uh, queue in over one hundred and eighty countries for visa or visa on arrival. And those who have given us visa on arrival. We have used bad behavior to make them to withdraw it. Yes. So Seychelles withdrew. Yes. And several other countries that gave to us before have withdrawn. So it is my duty and your duty to work together to restore the glory of this national uh, passport, which is our representation, our represent, which represents us anywhere we go. So when you yes. present it to the border post uh, officer, you are saying, I am a Nigerian. I have come to showcase the glory of my country yes. and when they have seen so many bad examples before they just conclude that i think they say one bad apple abi it's so, 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 so are you a one bad apple or are you a good apple yes. so today mr zubel yes, in conclusion your final uh, point to nigerians in 20 seconds i am looking directly at the national orientation agency it's time you people start to work. 
us Nigerians, including yourself, myself, and yourself, we have to hold our hands together like this. And build the country. And build this passport. It's not, it's not, this is not, this is not orchestrated. Uh, we will build this passport. We will build this country together. Yes. Together. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Zubewata. It's you. always a pleasure being around you. And I hope Nigerians have listened to us. It is our work to do. It is. We shouldn't wait on government. We are the government. And if we work together and do the right thing all the time, even if our government is not doing what is best, but anywhere we go to, they will, they will respect us. Yes. If you in Ghana, if a phone drops on the on the on the on the road and the person the owner misses it, it it is not lost. Somebody will pick it, call the right number, and they will give you back. But in Nigeria, inside the church, inside the mosque, we still we still things, and we still expect to be respected all over the world we need to work on ourselves and change our bad character mm. god bless nigeria amen thank you so much for doing it with us today i look forward to seeing you next week god bless you